All right, it's another day. What we're gonna to do today is we are going to install the shower pan and we're gonna to continue to frame the bathroom. We got a couple of special things that we're gonna to do to make it work out just right. Shower pan is gonna go right in this space here. Right over here, we're gonna put the shower mixer valve. We'll have to drill a five inch hole right where the drain goes so that we can hook the drain up underneath. We're gonna use 3 8 inch plywood to build out the inside of the shower before we put the finish panel on it. This is the shower pan. I just took it out of the box. And before I do anything, I am going to cover the whole thing with blue tape so that this beautiful finish doesn't get scarred up in the construction phase. Blue tape is on. I'm going to set it in place and start on my hole underneath in the subfloor and the bus floor. All right, so we've marked the middle of the drain hole. We're gonna drill a pilot hole. Measured off on the inside and also on the outside and I went under the bus and I looked and there was nothing that drilling the hole was gonna complicate like it wasn't gonna cut through the air lines or the brake lines or the power steering fluid or anything like that. So you feel pretty safe. Still, as careful as you can measure, Sometimes things don't come out exactly like you want them from the inside to the outside. So Todd's gonna drill a pilot hole and I'm gonna go under the bus and make sure everything is still lined up before we cut the big five inch hole. our way along we've got the pan down we've got the plywood wall up along the side of the bus we're wrapping it up for the day we got this pocket door framed in pretty much ready to go inside of the shower we got the shower pan have installed it it's not screwed down yet we're getting our measurements correct and making everything making sure everything is just exactly correct measure twice install once we got the hole drilled for the drain and that goes all the way through or is one and three quarter inches thick it goes all the way through that and then it goes through the floor of the bus and we'll go underneath the bus and we'll connect the drain line from the shower pan to the gray water tank. This is a plywood wall. We're gonna use that and to that, we'll attach the finish wall for the shower. We're gonna be using FRP, which is fiberglass reinforced plastic. Very nice product, waterproof, easy to work with. On this wall over here, we have the mixing valve all installed and plumbed and that is the little place where the shower head will mount. It's called a drop ear. So that's all mounted, ready to go. This is the area to fill the fresh water tank from the outside. So this is all installed. This is where the hose hooks up if you're using the city water. So that's all installed and ready to go. This is a little vent pipe that still needs to be hooked up to the tank itself. I'm waiting on a fitting for that. 